I'm a big fan of when I make something like cookies. I want to add some nuts or seeds or coconut, you know, textural difference, increase nutrition, make it interesting. I know I can't help it. But last time I made cookies, they were trail mix cookies. So they had dried cranberries, chocolate chips, pumpkin seeds, sliced almonds, and hemp hearts. They were delicious. People loved them. But Hamish was like, next time, could you just make like a basic chocolate chip cookie? Like, we just have chocolate chip cookies. And I was like, you know what, bud? We can make chocolate chip cookies. If you're new here, I'm Kate from Venison for Dinner. We're a family of seven, almost eight, living in northern British Columbia, Canada. So yesterday I grabbed out a big thing of butter. Normally I freeze butter in four ounce blocks, but when I make it and freeze it in just one of these, this is because I, I've had a Kate gave up day. <laughs> This is because we had a day where Kate was tired of dealing with butter and she just shoved it all in a container. So apparently in November I had one of those days. But we've got a lot of butter from making cookies as a result. I was working at my desk when I decided to have a cookie making break and Marius took the kids outside and I stepped outside to be like, what are they up to? There is not a human noise around. So I'm not sure what they're up to, but they're probably having fun. Freya has been diligently saving eggs for hatching and flipping them and we just moved them up here last night. We are going to get the incubator going. First round of hatching of the season. So we meant to get them started last night, but we didn't get there, so I flipped them and we're gonna get it going today. I always weigh butter because measuring out cups of butter is super annoying to me. This is also why I do the four ounce blocks that are half a cup because it's so easy I could have just thrown them in here and I wouldn't have had to done this step. But November cake was lazy. November Kate had morning sickness. Well, I found the children, but not the husband. I love the color of these green eggs. 
They're a cross between a blue egg layer and a brown egg layer and they make this kind of color. And we've got quite a few chickens that lay this color and it's kind of on purpose because we really think it's fun. Got all excited measuring and forgot to actually mix. Vanilla, I promise. I'm not just adding a bunch of vodka. My baking soda often has lumps in it, so I always flatten it out. bike, I saw a couple different things and they ran off. Lunchtime snuck up on me, but I just threw some sliced sourdough bread in the freezer the other day for such things. So I'm gonna make some quick grilled cheese sandwiches on the Blackstone because it's way easier than managing the cook stove and it's sunny out. I wanna be out here in the sunshine. Add a little bit of salami, enough for a couple people to have salami on theirs. And a couple different homemade cheeses. bit of mold doesn't scare us. It's not bad mold, just cheese mold. If you don't like the taste of it though, just scrape it off.
I'm making grilled cheese sandwiches. No. Amos. I like ketchup. I don't want me because it's so skinny. Okay. Quarters or halves? Quarters. Okay, pass me a plate. I want half. Okay, pass me a plate for Amos. Amos, pass, pass on your plate. Pass on your plate. We only need to give him like six cookies. There's only two of them. Yeah. Hitting that hard before the kids go through. Well, how about when they're gone? Mm. Mm. Does that sound good? You just have one now. How a picture of me and Freya. You sure I should go away now just to get them? For what? Mr. Gash. None are hot. This one is hot. That's not hot. You touched it, so it's uh, you touched it, so it's yours. The one you touched is yours. Uh, How's it taste? Okay. You didn't even take a bite. Mm. 